Hey, welcome back to my channel, Disco, and we're playing some more Pokemon Scarlet on Nintendo Switch. My uh, Pro Controller is currently down, so I am using the Joy-Cons attached to the handle. Wow, um, those trees are very... T they ha actually have sort of standings? Oh my god, they actually have 2D, like standings for anything that is too far okay and apparently Coridon can't actually float for a lot too long there's also a nice terror raid right here okay so one terror raid later we're going to um head towards the city once we actually get out of the water but we're struggling come on Hey, there we go. <laughs> we eventually got there. Uh, so we're just going to quickly hit the Pokemon Center so we can actually unlock it, which I'm pretty certain shouldn't be too hard. Hang on, wait, what was that? Oh no, it's just a uh, Igglypuff. Is that? Yeah, that's what I wanted to find. A gimme goal. I'm wondering if I'll run into another shiny Pokemon. I doubt it, but here we go. Oh, trees in the way. We can't jump. All right. I'm pretty certain we can fly to these areas now. Um, let's look for the grass type gym, which should be around here. I can actually run. Why aren't I running? There's some smallows on the roof. Okay. That was a weird cutscene moment. Right, because technically this would be the first gym, so I can understand why there's a cutscene. Oh. Yeah. This would have been our first stop. But we, this is like, uh, six gym? Yeah, six or seventh gym. No, six gym. I could have got a luggy egg. Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. Is the lucky egg only attainable after on the sixth gym challenge or is it you know actually given to me then and there when i'm you know uh, when i actually visit this gym because if it is then i feel like i missed out because i be, i wanted a lucky egg because lucky egg is good for gaining levels anyways it's going to be a free 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 an olive roll right so, Katie is a bug type gym leader, so I think we should also prepare our party. So, this should be nice and easy. We're going to get rid of um, Quackleful. Actually, we're going to get rid of Quackleful and Muscarada. We're going to get rid of these two. Uh, we're going to get rid of Tinkerton, and these will be the three that we'll be rolling with for this gym challenge. Okay, that's a very cool place up here. What is this? I know I'm getting sidetracked, but... Ooh, that's a Fafidian. Ah! Oh god. Um, what's a small of field? Oh, I see it. It's over there. I'm just gonna... Fly this way. Do we need to speak to this lady? Yep. The olive roll challenge. And there's a giant olive. I think it's just a giant inflatable olive. Otherwise, that is the world biggest olive right there. All right. Do we get to use Coridon for this? Okay, you can... Oh, my phone just went off. 
Oh, we can use you. Oh, that might have been a mistake. What are, what is up with these olives? Oh, it is a giant inflatable olive. Okay. Okay. That's point. I love the sound effects of this. Okay. Don't know why I did that. Uh, I'm guessing I can battle this guy. Let's battle him. Antonio. Let's use Talk Song. See? I don't understand why we don't have more NPCs like this. Why does every NPC have to be a student? Like some of these regular NPCs would be nice as trainers. Like on the field and everything, but yeah. Hmm. Alright, get rid of the Smoliths. I do have a shiny Smoliv, mind you. I just kind of spotted it. It was, it had like a black seed. And I was like, oh, cool. Let's capture that. Oh. Let's go. Whee. Is that it? Are we done here? We pass. That's super easy. Okay. So we have a great olive. I mean, it's just a giant inflatable olive. I don't think it's going to be any signs for a major olive harvest. There's so many iggly puffs and stuff. There's apparently an Eevee around here as well. There should be an Eevee around here. I'm getting sidetracked. We're heading back to the gym. Because we're about to take on a new gym challenge. And there is a PM there. No, an item. Oh, we've got a little bit of a Joy-Con drift. I'm back here. How are you? I successfully cleared it. Now we're going to take on Katie. The sugar bug. Okay. Again, another chef. There are a lot of chefs in this region. Fifidian. Okay. And I Where was she watching me doing the olive roll? Because she certainly wasn't around. Alright. Oh, she's a pastry chef. Okay. So probably dessert sweets. Bread, maybe. Mainly mainly desserts then. If she's the pastry chef. Alright. But why bug type Pokemon? Alright. Gym leader Katie. Started off the nimble. We'll send in Skeletor. Um You'll find that we're <laughs> incredibly overleveled. I'm sorry, there's just a sheer level difference right here, right now. Alright, Nimble's taken down. Tarantula! We'll send in Kilowattle. We'll send in a bird. Every bug's worst, nut, uh, worst nightmare. Oh god, they really need to do level scaling for this. Done. 
There's no point to having an open world if you're not going to level scale. Because it, it, you lose the challenge. Especially for those who don't really know that there was supposed to be like um, an order to doing this. Because there's no indication to actually which particular order that you should go in unless you look online. So in this sense, I have to knock down this game. I like the ambition and the concept they were trying to go with, but it's poorly executed in a lot of ways. We're going to rest rise. We're going to lava plume. Here we go. Never actually terrestrialized Armourous before. There we go. Let's take it out. It's interesting how the skies get darker. Alright, here we go. Lava Plume. Ah, oh, poor Teddy Ursa. Kinda doesn't deserve this. Alright, that was a easy knockout. Yeah, your Pokemon did drop like flies. No puns intended. My strength didn't rose during the challenge. I'm just way too OP. I'm like way too overleveled. Right. With six badges in my possession, Pokemon up to level 50 will be easier to catch and will listen to my command. And we also got the TM Pounce, which you did not even have a moment to sh show off to me. And there's this guy, Hassel. Full marks, gold star. Extra credit, okay. I know you're rear you're very um heightened in terms of emotions of me, you know, defeating a gym leader, but honestly this was way too easy because I'm way too overleveled. And is that it? I, I what was uh, What about um Nimona? Yeah, I thought our rival would be somewhere around here. Stop Joy-Con drifting, please. I know, I need my Pro Controller. Anyways, uh, I think this is a good point for me to end the episode. I'm going to end the episode now. And then, I think, since we're pretty much all done around here, our next stop is going to be up here. And once that's done, we will be, we'll be taking on these four. There is something glowing. Why is it glowing? Is that just pinging because of my location? Most likely. Anyways, I'm going to end the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the content so far. I'll be drifting off with the Joy-Con drift, but... Leave a comment in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, thank you for watching my video. I hope you guys all enjoyed that. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and drop a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think. It really does help me out. If you haven't already done so, you can also hit the bell icon and turn on notifications. That way you'll get updates for when I upload my new videos or follow me on Twitter at Kuroaki Games. I'm also on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Kuroaki Games where I occasionally stream my raw gameplay videos on there or some content that isn't on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram at Kuroaki Games and I will see you guys soon.